hi guys welcome back again to another interesting video thank you so much for clicking on my video if this is your first time please do not make your last subscribe so in today's video i don't know if you missed the paralympics ceremony like the opening ceremony last night do not worry i got you all covered wherever you're watching me from from ghana from nigeria from south africa from uganda do not worry because i was able to gather a lot of videos how most of the countries especially african countries worked in majestically but to be very honest with you guys i love the way Ghanaians, nigerians like literally all african countries i'm going to show you guys how the whole thing worked and i'll also be sharing the games most of these countries we participate in the paralympics i'll also be sharing some of the names literally everything you guys need to know so that you can set your mind to what you know in in order to know what to expect Ghana. Ghana is adding para taekwondo to the list of its Paralympic sports. Before now, there's been athletics, powerlifting, and cycling, right back to 2004. Zinabu Eza is the 44 year old. He'll be competing in the shot foot and the discus. Tahiru Haruna, powerlifter, 30 year old. She represented Ghana in power arm wrestling at the championships in Ghana. The 2024 Paralympic Games this year. Let me show you how some African countries appeared for the opening ceremony. This is Egypt, one of the most successful countries in Paralympics from Africa. Zimbabwe here, yeah, they went with two athletes for the games. Botswana also with two athletes for the games. Then Eritrea, they went with just one athlete. Then Team Kenya, when you compete against them, note that they are already preparing for your soon now. Congo here yeah, presenting two athletes for the games. Gabon also sent two athletes for the games. Libya, they sent three athletes for the games. Cote d'Ivoire, in their beautiful colors. Uganda, with four athletes in their wonderful colors. Ghana, colorful as always, with four athletes. Central African Republic, going with two athletes. Liberia, two athletes for the games. Tunisia, I love the camp. Completely love it with the entourage. Rwanda, I'm in love with this appearance. If you don't love the appearance, you need special eye treatment. I'm told it's called Musanana. Burundi went with two athletes for the games. Ethiopia, they are dressed in white, prepared for victory. Senegal, I knew this is how they would dress even before the games. Cameroon, nobody combines African prints with plain dress like Cameroonians. Algeria, and of course, some of them have my favorite cap. DR Congo went with two athletes for the games. Morocco, dressed very official. South Africa, Nothing else but using RSA, Africa's most successful site at the Paralympics. Then Nigeria, green, white, and a wonderful smile. Extremely wonderful and colorful appearances for the African countries. But tell me in the comment section, which is your favorite? Flag bearer Lorita Onye leads the way as Nigeria is introduced during the Athletes Parade at the Paris 2024 Paralympics opening ceremony of Niger, for sure. We cannot wait to see what these athletes have in store for us in the coming days. Remember, the Paralympic Games starts today and will end on the 8th of September. There are more videos to show you guys, but before I continue, let me know in the comments, did you watch the Paralympics grand opening? Let me know the country you are rooting for and also let me know the outfit or you know the what stands out for you as for me i love that of ghana i love that of nigeria i love how colorful the outfits are and these guys came to conquer they didn't really look like they came to play i don't know if you guys are aware there are rumors that some of the, the people that came for paralympics from ghana absconded in norway this video is definitely going to debunk everything you guys heard so to be very honest those things were just fake those guys aren't there to represent ghana and i believe they have been arrested have you been following up let me know in the comments what's the update about the people those ones that you know came to represent ghana and they flew <laughs> if that makes sense let me just let you guys hear what this particular lady said and how she presented everything maybe you can relate to what she said guys interesting things happening in ghana sports a paralympic team a paralympic team those who don't know para, para sports in ghana are the athletes with disabilities so athletes who have some sort of disabilities their sports is classified as para sports they went to norway in april to compete in a, a, a marathon which was supposed to serve as a qualification to the paralympic games the olympic games that is coming in france there is a section for disability sports so it is called paralympic games they were supposed to compete in a marathon which was to qualify them for the paralympic games and guess what the 11 member team when they arrived in norway Afghanic. They all ran away. They have disappeared. They have vanished. There is no trace of any of them. 
the athletes have all vanished. The para athletes have all vanished. So according to information, the competition they were supposed to go and partake in, they did not register. There's a search or there's a hunt for the Ghana Paralympic team that went nowhere. Now the National Security Minister, Kendapa, released a statement and he was giving an account of how it all happened when the team arrived. So as when the team arrived and then the competition that they were supposed to partake, the date and they not registering for the team. One of the athletes have been arrested. And the coach who took the athletes, nobody knows what happened, but he collapsed and he has been pronounced dead. That was uh, way back in April, way back in April. So he's been pronounced dead. But the remaining of the athletes are still being looked for. There's a hunt, there's a search for the athletes. So that's an interesting, an interesting story. But then what makes it more interesting is the fact that so uh, veteran sports journalist Adek Obama has come out to reveal that the Paralympic team that went, the Ghana Paralympic team that went nowhere to compete in a marathon were not the original Paralympic team. Yes, <laughs> it's a fake Paralympic team. So the Paralympic team, the Ghana Paralympic team, they have actually qualified for the Paralympics and they are currently in France preparing for the competition which starts on 26th June. <laughs> Sorry, 26th July. So the Ghana Paralympic team have already qualified, but the ones there, they are impersonators. <laughs> they are impersonators. And I wonder how they were able to gather themselves, put themselves together, travel all the way to Norway, go and impersonate a team and then just disappear. You guys, this is the fact that this sounds funny, it isn't funny at the same time. Let me just quickly take you guys back to the videos, how Nigerians have actually been coming out. You know, the few information you guys need to know about some Nigerians um, that will be presenting in this Paralympics. And just maybe let's see how ready we think they are. I can't wait, guys. So keep watching. The Paris 2024 Paralympic Games will see Nigeria represented in para badminton at the Games for the first time. The sport itself made its debut in the Paralympics three years ago in Tokyo. Maryam has been one of Africa's most outstanding para badminton athletes in recent years, and with her achievements on the para badminton world circuit, she is seen as a formidable contender for a medal in Paris. Chigozie is also Nigeria's shining light in the sport. An African champion in his category, like Maryam, he is also hoping to make history in Paris. This year, they both reached the quarterfinals of the Para Badminton World Champion. Lorita was recently featured in a series on the Paralympic Games YouTube channel titled Game Changers. She represents Nigeria in throwing events and always delivers medals. She has medaled at every Worlds and Paralympics she has competed in. Lorita took up para athletics in 2007, and in 2011, she won a silver medal at the All Africa Games in Maputo, Mozambique. She would go on to win one gold and one silver in shot put and discus throw, respectively, at the African Championship held in March 2015, setting a new world record in shot put. Seven months later, she broke the world record again at the Doha 2015 World Championships to claim her first world title. Her gold was Nigeria's only medal at the championships. The following year at the Rio 2016 Paralympics, Lorita was at it again, shattering the world record twice to secure her place at the top of the podium. She became the first in her F40 class to surpass the 8-meter mark when she threw a massive 8.40 meters to win Paralympic gold. At the 2019 Tunis Para Athletics Grand Prix, Lorita won silver in the women's F40 shot put event, gold in javelin and another silver in the discus event. Then, she claimed the bronze medal in shot put at the 2019 World Para Athletics Championships in Dubai and also at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics. At the 2023 World Para Athletics Championships in Paris, she won a silver medal in shot put. Now she has her eyes on gold at this year's Paralympics in the French capital. On March 8th, she was listed on Paralympics Olympics.org as one of 10 names to look out for in para athletics at the games. I will indeed be looking out for Rolita. Rorita. <laughs> to be very honest, I'll be watching this. Let me know in the comments. Will you be watching? I'm rooting for Nigeria. I'm rooting for Ghana. I'm rooting for South Africa. I'm rooting for you. Short, literally Morocco, um, Togo. I don't know all the countries. And I pray that we still make Africa proud. That is what I'm. I'm. I'm, adv I'm advocate of. I'm an advocate of one Africa. If that makes sense, let me know in the comments. Did you watch? Which outfit stood up for you? Which people came prepared? You guys. I am so happy at this point and I can't wait to see what they have in stock 
for all of us because I love games. I'm actually a very, very athletic person. I love sports a lot. So I'll be watching. And if I see any amazing videos, I will definitely share so that you guys will see how it has been happening back to back, especially in Ghana and in Nigeria because this is what my channel is all about. Thank you guys so much for your massive love and support. I don't take your love for granted. Keep dropping Ghana flag, Nigeria flag down the comments. Let me know people that watch. Anytime if I see flags of either nigeria or ghana i'll give you a shout out <laughs> let me know what you think about this video in case you this is your first time coming across this face my name is uju yeah welcome to uncut with uju don't make your last subscribe tell a friend tell a friend to subscribe and i will see you all soon in my next video stay happy be kind and be blessed bye guys